Group. In today's Seco Talks episode, we discuss how to choose the right furnace for your specific needs. Many times when we have different inquiries, RFQs, we have basic parameters, sometimes we have detailed specifications. By how to choose the right furnace for your specific needs, this will be discussed today with Łukasz Kwiałkowski. So, welcome to our episode. Hello. <laughs> Łukasz, yes. we both work in sales department and we many times we discuss with our potential customers. How do you see the typical request for the quote? How it looks like? What are the specific parameters you see? Each one is different. Sometimes is they just ask for exactly the equipment what they like to buy. Sometimes we receive some parameters and sometimes it's really nothing. It's really just nothing. the vacuum furnace. Okay. <laughs> if you see vacuum furnace, it's uh, it's good point. Sometimes you need, you see heat treatment furnace. Yes, you don't know yes, if yeah. it's vacuum or atmosphere. And it's also common. <laughs> okay. Let's start with the first topic, first technology. If we see requirements for hardening technology. What's the most important for you to choose and to suggest the best uh, furnace? The most, the most hard question. Okay. Because it's because hardening. A, hardening. <laughs> and also every day we have many different questions how to choose the correct one yes. solution for the hardening. So if you hear hardening, what are the main important uh, points? The, the most critical is to choose gas or oil. Yes. How to do it? How to do it? You know, we, we should understood which type of material they okay. like to so heat treat. Still great? Still great. Com Size of the... Still great related to hardenability. Exactly. And if we can do proper quenching in gas, it's yeah. enough. Yeah. Or we need to yeah. go and for oil. Yeah, exactly. But for this also we need to know the size of the parts. Cross section. Cross -section. Yes. Exactly. Quantity of parts. Requirements, if okay. they're just looking for the hardness in the surface or maybe also in the core. Okay, that's microstructure. The, microstructure also. Okay. Yeah, that's depend about the process. So still great, this yeah. is the one point. Mm -hmm. What's mm -hmm. more? Um, sometimes depend about technology. Okay. Because maybe they can also do the carburizing. Ah. Additionally, you know, that carbon nitriding, uh, this is always connecting. So if we go smoothly for the second uh, technology, mm -hmm. if there is a request for carburizing, even without information, which type, if mm -hmm. it's uh, low pressure carburizing, atmosphere mm -hmm. carburizing, what is important to, to propose the, the right furnace yeah. for this? You know, before we will be jump to the carburizing, okay. uh, if we need to decide between the gas or oil, yes. we need to also remember about some benefit Okay. And this advantage also, like gas quenching, less deformation, no post washing yes. after the oil quench. That's we have some no, benefit. No of moving this. parts in the furnace, so exactly. less maintenance for exactly. the furnace. This is Exa exactly, point. exactly. But we also need to remember about some disadvantage of the gas quenching, like we have limited cooling speed. Yeah. And, and this is always for some reason it can be disadvantage. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. And we go if we go for the second points like you mentioned, low pressure carburizing. Yes. But uh, you know, if we are looking from the RFQ point of view, we sometimes receiving just the carburizing furnace. Nothing more. Not not LPC furnace. That at the beginning we try to understood if we should focus about gas carburizing or LPC. Because yeah. like Seco Orbi Group, we have both technology in yeah. our portfolio. Yeah. But you mean for carburizing, I can only understand that also the steel grade is important also because of quenching. Exactly, type, exactly, type. exactly. But if we are trying to focus about the carburizing, the same like for the quenching, gas or oil, that the same question we should ask, material, etc., exactly. etc., et but also the productivity. This was the, my second point. Yeah. We have to know the quantity of parts quantity per of parts. batch or per day or per month or per year. Because exactly. I know companies, they produce 100,000 yeah. parts per year yeah. Yeah. or they produce 3 million or 5 million parts exactly. per year. Exactly. And this is why if they have some small production, we can start with the furnace like this one. Like this. A single chamber furnace can be even 25 bars, nitrogen quenching. Okay. And for some small parts, for some 
some material is enough. Simple, simple, repeatable, yeah. and it's enough yeah. for big and large production. Double, triple chamber, and maybe we can go to another place. We can go, but double, triple chamber. You mean oil, or gas, or both? Both depends. We should back again for the quenching steps. Yeah. So if we like to do gas or oil, and again depends about material, size of the okay. parts. Okay. Summarizing this stage, we have to know exactly the material grade. Yes the size of materials mm -hmm. and the quantity exactly just to start the initial mm -hmm. discussion yeah so we, we can it. go to the another uh, area just to see next furnace let's go let's go Lukas, yes. you already mentioned about uh, massive production what do you mean how what kind of equipment can be dedicated no. for massive production before we will see single chamber furnace yes but if we are looking for mass production that's double triple chamber furnace like this one Okay, what I mentioned. What does it mean triple chamber for the productivity? Triple chamber, three load in the same time inside the furnace, double chamber, hot loading, hot unloading, and just directly quenching in oil or gas. Depends so, about, again, material, cross-section, etc. So, so having in mind big volumes of the production, we can uh, We can increase the productivity can, yes. thanks to this. Two or three chamber yeah. furnaces. Yeah, exactly. And, and we speed up the process because process mm -hmm. of the uh, is shorter, but on, not only because the number of chambers, but also because the type of the carburizing, like we mentioned, LPC, yes. we can reduce High 40, 60 percent of the carburizing time comparing to the gas carburizing. This is one uh, one important uh, thing because. Shortening the carburizing time is strictly related to the high temperature, exactly. but it's not a, any magic. It's just because the speed it's of physics. diffusion, <laughs> speed of diffusion is faster in the yeah. higher temperature. Exactly. So, by this, thanks to this, we can reduce total process time by 40, 30, 40 percent. 30, 40 yeah. percent. Yeah. Total time. Yeah. Okay, exactly. we got it. Yeah. Sounds very simple. Yeah. Let's go to the next point. Yeah. Also, it's not so easy. <laughs> okay. Let's go. Let's go. Lukas. Yes. We already talked about carburizing, hardening. Uh, in a timeline, the next process is tempering. So yes. if someone asks for tempering furnace, what we can choose? What, kind, what different equipment? Again, depends. It, it depends. Okay. <laughs> because we have like three types of tempering. Can be atmosphere okay. tempering. Especially after LPC, if temperature is lower, Sometimes we recommend it just to go for cheaper. For 170 Celsius, max low 200. That sometimes is even enough. Enough. And my name for this type of furnace is pizza furnace because okay. it's 200 degrees C, like like pizza. Like pizza. Good. Yeah. That's, but sometimes for some material, especially also for aviation and energy sector, but sometimes also for tool steel dies. Yes. The people use the vacuum tempering, especially for more responsible. Parts, exactly. And for this, we have two solutions. And always I try to understand how long is the process. Ah, oh, yes. Because it's two design solution, like retort one and maybe standard vacuum. So the most solution. simple the most simple suggestion related the time. If we need a three time tempering for large die, what will be your recommendation? Depends. Okay. <laughs> No, because really, it's, okay, if it's the big, big size of the part, and soaking time is long. It's soaking tank is more like four hours. I recommended to do it with retort furnace. Why? Because we save energy during the soaking time, but yes. we need to put more energy for heat up Keeping. and cool down. But if we compare with the simple, the vacuum tempering furnace, the heat up is fast, cool down is fast but we lost a lot of energy during the holding time. Yes, yes, That's, yes, yes. This is why if I understood holding simply, is... Simply speaking. Four hours. Lo long tempering time is better because of the cost of energy yeah. mm -hmm. to use temp uh, retort type furnace. Yes. For shorter processes, you recommend vacuum, vacuum tempering furnace. Exactly. What but other options we have? Yes, this is what I like to mention because sometimes the people also like to do gas night riding yes or is commercial heat treater and also i recommend it just to add simple the gas cabinet with ammonia and we can do it here 
the for, ga gas for, night riding. For typical tempering furnace yes. with retort, we can apply as an option yeah. night riding. Yeah. And the, the same simple, furnace can be used for night riding and tempering. Yeah. Simple gas. And this tips is special for our colleagues, Andrzej, <laughs> who is responsibility for this technology in our okay. company. Good. Yeah. Two technologies in one furnace. Yeah. Good. And let's go for the last chapter about last, maybe not the least, but last for today, yeah. technology. Let's and this go. is not heat treatment sometimes. Yeah, <laughs> let's go. Let's go. Lukas, yes. if we go for brazing technology, like you said, it's not uh, exactly heat treatment, but it's a brazing. Tell me what information do we need from the customer to propose the right fairness for brazing technology? You know. Almost every day we have something request like brazing furnace. Yes. Or even better if we have vacuum brazing furnace. Easier. Because yes. also can be contra atmosphere brazing. Okay. Yeah, but if we have vacuum brazing furnace, the first question is which type of base material do you like to brace? So so again, steel grade? Yes. That is dedicated for brazing oh, this and this is most uh, and I, I, I understand also the brazing filler metal. Yeah, this is it's, also if very it's copper, important. If it's copper, if it's nickel, if it's silver or yeah, whatever. Exactly. exactly. Mm -hmm. And why it's so important? What, what the... This is so important because we need to understand few factors about the solution. Okay. That if we understood material, filler material, that we can dedicate temperature, vacuum level. And this is most so, critical. So heat, temperature, you mean different heating system, not only by the uh, level of the temperature, if it's like for aluminum brazing. Class of yes, the uniformity but of also the, the heating. The uniformity. Yeah. For example, if we speak about the copper brazing, simple graphite chamber furnace. OK, with, so another, another factor, temperature, so heating system. Yes. And you mentioned about graphite chamber, so type of insulation. Yes, this is what I like to continue. Like, yeah. for example, for the copper, simple graphite chamber is totally enough. And here we see the diffusion pumps. Yes. For copper, we don't need diffusion pumps. Just simple mechanical root pump, that's all. But yeah. if we go for the stainless steel and nickel filler material, okay. yes, still the same chamber, but we need to add the diffusion pumps. Diffusion pumps mm -hmm. and graphite hot zone. Yeah, that means almost similar. We have some tips how to improve the lifetime of the furnace for the copper, okay. but this is not for today. So when you propose all metal hot zone, all metal screen type insulation, especially for aviation, I joke because they have enough to to buy this type of the hot chamber because yeah. it's more expensive, but they they pay for the quality. Quality of what? Quality of the atmosphere inside okay. the furnace during the brazing. Because they make the brazing of inconel, titanium, which is very sensitive for oxidation. Okay. And this is why they can take the risk and use the graphite. But sometimes... But nobody take the risk in other uh, yeah. aviation industry. This is, yes. this is the reason why always if I hear energy industry, aviation industry, inconel, titanium, I true go to the metal chamber. Okay, so we have heating system responsible for heating yes. le he uh, temperature level and temperature uniformity. Yes. Insulation, insulation type responsible for quality of the vacuum. Yeah. And of course, pumping system, which can be simple mechanical and root. Mm. We have to... And, and all... Sorry, yes. okay, we are in the production area yes. sometimes. It's if we touch the isolation, metal isolation, like I mentioned before, depend about the base material and filler material, also yes. we have different metal isolation. For example, titanium in Connell is molybdenum because process yes. is high temperature. Okay. Yes. But we have aluminum brazing that is low temperature process, 600. Good. We have stainless steel isolation. That is many factor which we need to select before we select the right furnace. Lukas. I think for one episode of Secotox is more than enough. I understand that we can search for more parameters, even for brazing, yes. like the quality of, uh, About this topic we can of speak. the vessel, <laughs> the Long water time. cooling system, and, yes. and so on. Yes. Let's finish about this. And 
now we will try to talk about very specific requests where the customer is going for some sometimes new technology for him sometimes he's trying to test new materials for him new parts new components with new dimensions or and just proof on just the process prove the process what what we can do here this is i understand we have to go to another place yes but also we can use this equipment like you see we have various different equipment in the workshop we can use this but let's go to our r&d department let's go Lukas, yes if there is a company who wants to minimize the risk of investment to avoid situation that they buy furnace mm -hmm. but it will not be the best solution for their technology mm -hmm. what you no. can what in this case what you can suggest always i invite the people to come here with the parts okay. to do the real trial in one of our furnace. In R&D? In our R&D. In R&D, sometimes in our partner, sometimes in our production. You mean R&D, what kind of technologies we, we, we can, can offer we, here? We, we can do it here, the brazing, we can do it hardening, LPC, gas nitriding, that's almost everything. All technologies. We can do it here, exactly. Uh, sintering. Sinter, sintering, that's Yes, like you mentioned, we can help them to eliminate the risk before yes. the decision. Thank you that you say this because it means that the, the very detailed discussion on the beginning of the uh, project mm -hmm. can avoid disaster at the end, some problems yeah. or... Uh, this is why I always I invite to come yes. before the decision, yes. not after, because sometimes it's too late. So, yeah, in this case, with more information you can minimize the risk and for specific projects we can also make some tests to mm -hmm. eliminate the risk to the exactly zero. yes and okay. i like to use this opportunity and invite you to visit us here in sikorvik in poland in Świebodzin. good yeah thank you Łukasz, for discussion and we see you in the next episode very soon bye bye follow our second talks